Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 5th of October and this time I have a little bit more news regarding Assassin's Creed Unity but it's also going to be a little bit of an opinions piece as we have quite a lot of information regarding the co-op from the Unity Associate Level Design Director Christoph Rosignol, whose name I probably just butchered and I want to go through what he said and also discuss the finer points, give some opinions and just get a bit of discussion going, you know I like a bit of discussion. So, basically we're talking about the flow of the gameplay and how the missions are actually going to play out. Now, Christoph said, quote, you're playing what we call a brotherhood mission. Arno is employed by the Council of Assassins and you're performing a mission with his brothers that takes place in the French Revolution. They're all related to the context of that time period. So basically, it's all kind of loosely linked to the main plot line, even though it's not going to be canon exactly. It is still relevant to Arno's tale, the time period and whatnot. Now obviously the co-op missions are designed to be played together. Now narrative aspects have apparently been pared down in order to get you and your friends right into the thick of it. And Christoph said, quote, when you begin a co-op mission you get a short cinematic to explain the narrative context of the mission because some are actual historical events like an assassination on attempt on Napoleon or the Women's March, where women were angry because they couldn't feed their children, so they marched from Versailles to talk to the king about the lack of food in Paris. Once the cinematic's done, it's all about gameplay, all about player action. So essentially, a little bit of background to give what you're doing some meaning, some context, and then straight into the action, which makes sense considering that it is joined loosely to the campaign, but of course separate from the campaign. While we can easily expect some lengthy cutscenes and whatnot from the main story, with co-op it's better to just contextualise what you're doing and then jump right in. And obviously the cooperative gameplay has to be just so. It has to be right and it has to be actual teamwork as well. And Christoph pointed out, quote, we still have synchronization, but it's based on a player's action, so the mission doesn't demand that you do any specific action. So like, I'm killing someone stealthily, and your co-op partner kills someone stealthily a second later. And you both get rewarded with creed points because you have done a chain of actions together. Now, as I mentioned previously, working together is pretty much a key component, but it's not really what I would call a requirement and is more sort of actively encouraged. Now Christoph had another example for us here. Quote, I use a stun bomb on enemies and you, a double, you do a double air assassination on the stunned enemies. We both get creed points for that because it was a cool situation and a good use of our combined skills. Most of the fun comes from actions execute, players execute together. We encourage players to play each mission around three times because there are different rewards you can earn and some missions include events that you won't necessarily notice the first time because they occur whether you're paying attention or not. So, some pretty interesting points discussed there. Um, what interests me is that the mission doesn't demand any one specific action from you. Now let's take, say, any of the old Assassin's Creed games, but let's take the most recent, shall we, Assassin's Creed 4. Now, Assassin's Creed 4 did fix a lot of the annoyances, but we still saw the ever-present tail an enemy, where if they saw you, it would be an instant failure, pretty much. Now, that has always annoyed the hell out of me, to be completely honest. It doesn't seem very fluid, and it seems like a true assassin, once spotted, would find another way around things. Now, I'll probably won't see that so much in the co-op but it's still nice to see that there's no one thing you have to do you can go about it multiple different ways now that's not to say there weren't plenty of missions before in this series where there was multiple attack paths and ways to tackle a problem because there were there were plenty of missions like that but there were also plenty of missions where it was pretty much set in stone what you had to do like for example I can't quite remember what the area was called but there's this area in Assassin's Creed a few hours in where you have to rescue a slave or something like that and you pretty much have to be stealthy if you are spotted it is basically over so you're there going from bush to bush to bush and there's not really anything else you can do there's a fair few missions like that so it's nice to see that it's going to be absent at least from the co-op hopefully it's pretty much absent from the single player as well but we just don't know 
Now, I like that it encourages cooperative play, of course, we are talking about co-op missions here, but at the same time I'm also glad that it doesn't punish you for not working together, it basically, instead of punishing you for not doing it, it rewards you for doing it, which is exactly the right way to go about it. So, if you and your friend are playing together, then awesome, if someone you don't really know and you are playing together, then you might not be so well synchronised, but you're both still going to be working together in some fashion but you might not get rewarded as many points as if you've done some of the cool examples here but it still sounds like you can really chain your abilities together and really use your separate skills really very effectively and make a very effective team indeed now the co-op, to be honest, I thought was a bit strange of a choice so late in the game for Assassin's Creed as a series when it was announced way back wherever it was announced. I can't even remember, to be honest. Um, but the more I hear about it, the more I think, actually, this sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not usually one for online gaming outside of, say, Hearthstone or StarCraft 2, but I think this might actually get me to spread my social wings a little bit in terms of gaming online as it sounds like it could be really really interesting. Anyway, I'd love to hear some thoughts and opinions on anything discussed here and also anything you would like to see added into the co-op or even the single player. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next time.